Hi and welcome to Keep Us Creative Flow. We are doing a haul video, um, going through some stuff that um seen in charity that we bought in charity shops. Um, but we're gonna start off with the skip dive. <laughs> this is this is just so random. Yeah. Um I'm gonna be putting a video up of this. Um it is where I was just admiring this church and so I went round it because it was on for auction and I was just like and then it, there was a sign which said uh oh take help yourself to books books and cds or something like that and then when I went around there was already somebody in the skip and then we just uh, we started chatting and uh and he'd already started putting old magazines and stuff to the side and I was like oh I could use this in my junk journaling but yeah he didn't he didn't let me have them but um, what I did find was, um, I know it's broken, and I know it's, uh, so apparently there was a small mixing bowl in this, it's called Botanic Garden, and it's a cardboard box, but look how gorgeous the uh, pattern is on there, um, yes it is broken on two sides, but yeah, so it needs a bit of a clean still, but uh, it's very, very cute, so I'm going to wipe this down. And then the other thing from the skip, which he was like, oh, if you're into arts and crafts, what about this? And then when I looked at it, one second, I'm just going to put some stuff out of this. Oops. Um, so one thing is this, uh, I don't know what you call it. It's a ball using, it's like wire something. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite neat. I have no idea where I'm going to be putting it. I might put it in this fireplace in this um, craft room. But the most exciting thing, which I can get out of this bag now. Oh, I don't know how you're going to see it, but um, it's a basket. So this is going to be my waste paper basket. Uh, let me get it right in there. Excuse me. Yeah, so this is going to be, it's like a cylind cylinder shape. And... Uh, yeah, I'm going to, so if you've seen my full craft video, you will know that I've got a uh, lampshade, which needs to be upcycled. So I might actually put it in this basket. Look how gorgeous the um, that pattern is as well. I love it. I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. So what was this? Um, this is a RSPCA charity. Let's keep the receipt. We can upcycle the receipt. And another amazing find was this butterfly and moth book. Um, it was five pound, but I think it's five pound well worth it because it's got some very interesting um, pictures in here. Very very interesting. Uh, so gorgeous and I like the way it's a mixture of both moths and uh, butterflies because yeah moths sometimes get missed out don't they and this is a field guide colour field guide so if you are looking for it in your charity shop or online by Ivo Novak illustrated by Frantisek Severa it was an IG number, wasn't there? Yeah, the ISBN number, sorry. IG, what am I talking about? Is 07064-12931. And this was printed in Czechoslovakia. Um, it's saying it's first published in 1980. But yeah, even the front cover, lovely. Yes, so that's one, well... We're making a start. Let's get through it. Come on. The other thing was this from a YMCA shop. I think this and this was from that YMCA shop. Absolutely stunning. Um, £2.50. Look at the cross stitch detail in this. Just look at this. Look at this for gorgeous detail. Isn't it just... It is so gorgeous. I can't explain. If you've done if you've done cross stitch before, you'll know 
how painstaking it is um and this has got like the flowers going all over it and then the whole border so yeah i was so excited so excited and this is one of my favorite colors as well absolutely gorgeous color and then um this pretty pretty dress um was also two pound fifty reduced from five pound um it doesn't matter what size it is because i won't be wearing it i don't think i'm not sure if that will fit me to be fair um but look how gorgeous that lace is and the graduating effects on it so it's got that pattern uh what you call it that plain fabric underneath if you were to wear it but look how gorgeous that pattern is and the colors of the lace and the sleeves the whole thing the whole thing um in love in love with that so definitely be using it for something i'm not sure if it will fit me no it might not but i'll definitely be using it for arts and crafts ordered a diary for uni starting uni next week uh yeah I th hopefully if this goes out on monday i'll be starting uni the next day so tuesday is my yeah so yeah and this is the packaging for that so obviously we'll be upcycling that what that came in um so let's just park that down here this is from oh yeah definitely keeping that uh tag and this was from a wrap from Starbucks, a vegan wrap. And we can sh absolutely use this. Yeah, absolutely. Packaging. We'll use it for something. Yeah, as soon as I saw it, I was like, you're very, very interesting. So yeah, that's to the side. Look how lush these are so the one pound fifty and there is 100 and it's they're called spectrum collection instant film postcards um the isbn if you are looking for them is nine seven eight zero seven seven zero four three four three four two um yeah I'll just show you a few so that it opens like this first of all the box is absolutely gorgeous as well the box has got a very interesting opening and so they sit like this um but look that umbrella wow they're all just too cute very very cute definitely will be using these look at the feet yeah every every pole like they're very artsy basically and they're ready to do whatever with oh the backs are like this but yeah they're lovely and for that price how can you say no to that for that price it's a steal oh lovely fruit and veg my favorite some lettuce there and just a Ooh. yeah extremely extremely excited about these and using them i've got to use them i can't be hoarding them unless i just keep one of each and put that in my keepsake bit but then the rest i'll put in my postcards that i'm going to use use you have to use them <laughs> do not keep saving them so yeah one pound fifty love 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 this cute, cute, cute little box. I think this was from Albrighton, Compton Hospice in Albrighton. And uh, the mandala, that was just gorgeous. But look what's inside. I can totally use this. Um, natural olive oil soap. So yeah, that was a steal. So I'm definitely going to be putting something small in this for like everyday use. Popped into the works shop in the uk um and this was actually for 50p so they were let's just show you they are cork oops sorry um 
tags cork tags made out of really thin cork beautiful yeah they came with me so that's let me pop them in that box next we have got first book of chess i think this was two pound it's from 1957 but look at the inside of this how sweet is this we've got the actual picture of what to do but all these they're just absolutely stunning and it is by Horowitz and Rainfeld. Horowitz and Rainfeld, yeah. Even that front page, look how cute that is. Yeah, the teens know how to play chess, but I'm just baffled. I, I, I just look at them, but <laughs> I tell you who's um, my sister in law, Nikki, she's very competitive when it comes to chess. Very competitive. Um, and this little find, shall we go to this next, um, was, it said tape on there, and when I opened it, I'll show you, it's actually got, you know, like, you get seam bindings, seam binding stuff, um, and look how gorgeous this lace is, I have got other lace, like, I've got a whole batch of the other lace, but having the black lace, I was like, yes, definitely add that to my collection because I've hardly, I don't think I have got any black lace. That's my first. And then it's got like this ribbed effect, what you get around, I don't know, trousers and stuff. There's home and house and home ribbon as well. Um, there's the seam binding thing which can totally and it's got already got some print on it as well it says wash or clean garment or something on there printed who knows how old that is there a date can't, it's so faded but yeah it's amazing to find this I'm trying to see if there's a date so uh, it's definitely something backing no, it's got no date on it. It's just my imagination <laughs> running wild. Um, oh, that's satin lace and a bit of velvet. Nice. Some more grey, different size, different thickness. Sorry, different shade actually as well. That's more of a powder, like a grey blue. Um, got some cream. That's a red, green as well in here. There's some more of this thicker lovely yeah can't wait to get stuck into this um hopefully making like ruffles and so i saved some potato sacks um so you know the actual packaging from the potatoes i want to actually add something like this and then stamps and things like that and then make ruffles out of it so it's really really excited to find that a mandela book 75 pi 75 pence and look how pretty so yeah rethink mental illness yeah i can't crochet but yeah very cute to find this book i could actually use the pictures if not to and then this was the most beautiful crochet uh, pillowcase ever look how much look how much 50p wow yeah thank you compton hospice thank you you know what i actually i think i'm going to just use this as a pillowcase and put it on my bed because <laughs> i love it it's I, yeah look at it you would never want to cut into this yeah let's do that we can come off straight away and you my friend are going on the bed oh once i find a pillowcase for you of course yeah 100 percent. put that to the side and next look at these these are also pillowcases and they've got cut work detail look how huge they are first um 
they've got like this super beautiful cutwork effect here um it's like a not quite collaged but it's like it's got highlight on where the prints are i don't i'm not sure if it is hand stitched it seems like it would be it seems like it is but it's very pretty and there's three of these so that's what was them all again come to my 75p for three pillowcases so that means it was 25p each 25p each look wow that's very exciting and they're huge these are quite huge one two about four 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 hand spans four hand spans in length and three hand spans in width so pretty pretty nice size yeah we're not finished yet sorry bear with bear with we're still going i don't know what that is next we've got the natural history of britain the cutest book look how cute this girl is have a have a little munch it munch of him and these uh gorgeous mushrooms and fish stunning 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 this is um 19 reprinted in 1985 published in 1988 so not too old but old enough to be vintage and gorgeous and and there's hopefully plenty to do yeah look mushrooms love 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 so yeah this was a steel i think it was oh my goodness yeah this was this was actually 50p i know this was 50p from the cats protection shop in um castle castlecroft not far from here oh my goodness yes it was right so yeah that's a lovely find um we've got amazing solos clarinet and keyboard and that was 50p so i still on there and that's got some nice music paper in there and 50p again for this book don't know what year it is but look originally it was £3.50 at the shallop, shallop sheet music no it doesn't say what year hmm Maybe they left the year off. Oh, unless that's the year. 88 to 89. Possibly. Who knows. Right. The reason why this book was purchased is because the other... I have got another one, which is similar, like a World Atlas type thing. Oh, this is by the Reader's Digest, and it's called Great World Atlas. Um, is my son who was like, you're not going to cut into that. <laughs> So he's taken that one in his room and I found this one for £3 and it is just luscious. It, yeah, so this one will be used, 100% this one will be used for projects. So yeah, very excited to use that. That's another... Um, this was 95p, loved the um, pattern. Uh, haven't got many napkins. So I was like, actually, let's just take that out of this packaging. That can go with the other napkins. Might keep a few for downstairs, actually. Because I've got these Monstera plants in the dining room. So, yeah, you can go over there. Um, oh, I bought these for the playgroup. We run a playgroup in, in Tividale, um Within the complex of the Gordora, which is um, a Sikh place of worship. And there was a girl who'd come and she was playing with something similar to this. It's called Bubble Popping Sensory De-Stress Toy. If you've never seen it, I'd have a look into it. Especially if you've got fidgety kids or or even for adults, to be fair. Because um, I'm hoping some of the parents will be playing with this when they come to the playgroup. 
um so so a child had it and she had one in the design of a peacock and i was straight away the color and the way the shape of it and i was like i was just interested in it straight away and i was like what is that um i was having a little wonder in the shop and sorry i haven't even opened this yet um and i found i found some <laughs> so these are going to go to the play group next week um but what you do you just push through but as you're doing it it's just it's just so addictive if you've ever seen the fidget spinners um similar to that but yeah absolutely lovely so the guy was selling these three for five pound um or two pound each so i've got three oh that one's 2.99 but um he gave me three of these so i've got rocket circle with marble effect oh a little smiley face um and a star so yeah that that yeah play with it in play group <laughs> Um, some other goodies. These were from a shop called Coleman's. Um, so actually, these have still got the prices on. So they had these gorgeous Manila folder um, tags. So as you can see, I'm topping up the tag collection. So these that was eighty p. That was a pound, and that was I think is one twenty. Yep. Um, so the the graduated sizes. Love the. Uh, reinforcer so yeah so these these are my tags that have been topped up oh that's for my niece next year yep charity shop yep that that can stay over there Shh, you're not supposed to see that one um finally got myself an ink set um i've saw obviously i've saw <laughs> i've seen other people use this ink tense paint so I'm going to give it a go and it was on i think 30 percent off so i was like let's give it a shot so that's going to be used soon and then we have got um that coleman's place also did these postcards so it's like plain on the back and then you can decorate the front but i was thinking in junk journaling that would be perfect and there's 25 in each so i've got 50 of those there was this gorgeous shop um and these are this is a card by jenny um so yeah i loved her artwork so i had to buy that i had to buy that and so i'm gonna have a little practice i haven't got this embossing folder um i haven't even got this bird or this rabbit or hair or whatever it is um but just that doing a bit of that and then stamping outside of that if you get what i mean outside of the frame that you've already inked that's that was really interesting to me so i'm gonna give it a go so i bought that for inspiration um yep love that and then there was oh, is that right sorry just putting that aside oh, and then there was these gorgeous car cards and envelopes because you know sometimes um you haven't got time to you know well at the moment my card collection is not even here but look how stunning these are absolutely gorgeous so i've got some which were like girly stroke basically unisex and they buy they are by sue w and it comes with the envelopes as well so they were only 80p each so 80p for that and the envelope which isn't so bad it's not so bad um so yeah if i'm feeling lazy and i want to give these but i could totally make these myself i have the die cut to make coin envelope coin style envelopes but you can't always get the paper can you so yeah i fell in love with the paper so this my friend is a original watercolor i don't know if the person has signed it actually oh man can't oh sm someone called sm oh man sorry i can't say your name whoever you were but this was from an art shop uh eight pound i paid for that but look how gorgeous 
the detail is on this stunning bird. You have to, oh, yeah. She's, you stole my heart, you did. <laughs> you had to come home with me. So she, that is going to go somewhere in the craft room, on the board somewhere. That's definitely going to go somewhere. And I think this is the final piece, unless I'm going to, oh no, one more thing. One more thing. Um, so this was, I think these were, were they 50p um, journal cards. So they've got like different, let's just show ya, shall we? I haven't even opened these myself, so. Studio Calico. So they're posh, aren't they? Um, so yeah, there's some grid paper, some cards journal on oh happy day i love that i love 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 that and then we've got just some other random things so that's got a number three coming out of it it's got a number two nearly falling out of it come on there we go that's a number one and then it's got today so that's the journey journal journal journaling cards almost there Hopefully we'll be under 30 minutes. Sorry guys if you gotta go. No, you gotta go if you gotta go. Next oh two more things. So this one, 99p. It's like a patchwork quilt. How gorgeous would this look on a journal as a journal cover or inside? Like this is all I was contemplating. So if this was in half and then the cover was like this, or if it was this way and it was like this, and yeah. That's that's the plan for that. And then this £2.99. This is gonna go downstairs on the table. It is two pound nine sign. It is 76 inches by 52 inches. How amazing is that? And that's the PDSA charity. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this. It is reams and reams of this stuff. Reams of it. <laughs> But look at the cutwork pattern. It is just... <sighs> it melts my heart. It is the work. Even if it is done by machine, right? Look how much work has gone into it. It is just next level. Next level artistry. And the edges. Oh, they're just so cute. Whoever's like put this together. And that's... It's like... Even though you know it is quite old, but this is totally could be used today, like modern day, because the colours are gorgeous, the design is gorgeous. It's like that looks like an arrow to me, um, and I appreciate. I just so appreciate this pattern as well. It reminds me of um, Punjab, um, some of the the work that is done on Asian suits. Um, in bun like Punjabi suits, like the embroidery and everything, it just, yeah, oh, yeah. So yeah, that that is my. I think this has got to be the best find of the day, including this birdie. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy with everything that um I've bought recently. So hopefully, I'm gonna get cracking on um finishing off the Cuba Junk Journal next. Yep, still working on the binding. Um, and also the final prompt of Seek, Gather, Create. I, I didn't realise there was a week five, but there's a week five. So I've done a rough sketch. I might do a quick video on like my thinking of what I'm about to create and then actually do the video after that. I might, yeah, I might do a little. Anyway, enough about that. I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. I hope you really in enjoyed um, looking at some of this stuff. I know it, I'm completely random, but that's just who I am. <laughs> um, yeah, I could have shown you some of the other stuff we've got for playgroup, like the kitchen trolley, and but that that's all been taken there now. Um, thanks for being here. Thanks for listening, and hopefully chat. To, um, hopefully chat to you soon. Take care for now. Bye.